Good morning, seventh grade remote. We will get into this quickly. Don't forget, number one, you have to take a um, one through five amendment quiz today. You need There will be a Google form posted in classroom. You need to fill out the first five amendments. Obviously, the first amendment goes with number one, second with two, and so on. Okay, you need to write down uh, six through ten today. We will not quiz on those tomorrow or Monday. We'll probably do that quiz on Tuesday. I don't like... Uh, I, I don't mind giving quizzes on Friday, um, but not everybody that's in class uh, has computers or whatever. Um, so we're going to save that for next week. And I never give quizzes on Monday, so we'll probably just save that for Tuesday. But again, this needs to be on your amendment sheet, not your notes. Okay, you need to keep that sheet separate. And again, you need to just write on your amendments, not on your notes, but on your amendments, what's underlined, Okay. So Amendment 6, of course, says the right to a speedy trial, uh, meaning the, the police can't arrest you and just throw you in a holding cell and keep you there. You have the right to be told what you've been accused of and go to trial for it. 7 is the right to a trial by jury, uh, which means that you are uh, you can't just go in front of one dude. And who uh, Basically, if you remember from the last few chapters, they were putting all these alleged smugglers in front of uh, what's called admiralty courts, uh, or just one red coat who is already pre, um, uh, uh, not predetermined, but pre um, persuaded, let's say, to find these people guilty. And that's not really a fair trial. So you're guaranteed that uh, if you're convict, uh, accused of a crime, not convicted, accused of a crime, you go in front of a jury of your peers. Amendment 8, no cruel or unusual punishment. Uh, the punishment has to fit the crime, in other words. They can't throw you in prison for 45 years for doing 55 and a 50 or whatever. They have to – not all crimes are created equal. And so the punishment has to fit the crime, and they can't you know, come up with weird, unusual punishments just uh, for their own amusement either. Okay, Number nine uh, says that just because these rights are not listed in the Constitution doesn't mean you don't have them. The, you can also just put, if you want to not write all that down or not remember all that, you just put individual rights, okay? Um, people have rights. And just like I say in my class rules at the beginning of the year um, in class, there's no list of rules that can cover everything. Uh, at some point, you, you have to understand that there are certain rights that you have that may not be listed. Uh, and, so, and also, the Constitution, I mean, uh, the Constitution doesn't mention anything about uh, dry, the right to have a driver's license or not have a driver's license or what you can do or do, do not do on the internet because those things obviously didn't exist back then. And so that's the point of the Ninth Amendment that you cannot, uh, this can't cover everything. Just because it doesn't say you don't have this specific right doesn't mean you do not have it. And then Amendment 10 is basically rights reserved to the states, okay? And it basically says these specific things, and we'll talk later about what they are, Okay, if the Constitution doesn't say that the United States government can do it, that each side, each state, I should say, can decide on their own. Okay, so on nine, you could put individual rights, 10, you can just put states' rights. Okay, so you should now have a list of one through 10 amendments. You should take your one through five amendment quiz today, and you should write these notes down as. Uh, um, Article one notes. I now listen. Like I said the other day, this is a very long um, presentation. We are not going to get through all of it today in class. I'm not going to get through all of it today on this video, or even close. And in fact, I probably won't. Um, I probably won't be able to make a video for, for next. I, I got tomorrow with remote day. I might be able to work ahead a little bit and have videos for you, but uh, I'm zipping through these now, but we're not, this is a 40, 50, 60 something um, slide presentation. Okay. So eventually you're going to have to write all of that down, but it does not have to be all today. Okay. When, as we go on, I will keep you updated probably in Google classroom or, or on the next video we make of where we got to. I'm going to attach the whole thing today though. So if you want to go ahead and get through it, feel free, okay? And you can, be, you can actually be ahead, uh, which is okay with me. You probably saw when I was zipping through those just a second ago, there are some slides at the end that say, what do we know? You do not have to write those. Those are just uh, to, you know, out loud review for people in class. So you don't have to worry about those. 
Okay, so legislative branch of our federal government is called Congress. Congress consists of two houses. That's called bicameral. Bi means two. Bicycles have two wheels. You're a biped. That means you walk on two feet. Okay, and bicameral means two houses. Okay, and so in order for a bill to become a law, it has to go through the House of Representatives and the Senate. Okay, each state gets two senators, and the number of representatives from each state depends on its population. The more people you have, the more representatives in the House of Representatives you get. The first term of Congress begins on the third day of January every odd numbered year. Not always January 3rd. This is generally meant to mean the third work day. Okay. And so, you know, that would have been yesterday. Uh, this year, because this is an odd number of years. So they just started a new session of Congress. Uh, Congress can punish or expel its own members. Um, there's an old antiquated out of out of date law that says they can't be arrested going to or coming from work. Uh, there are some exceptions. To that. Like if they murder somebody, they would arrest them. OK, it's just for like everyday stuff. Um, it's a weird it's a weird, you know, one of those weird laws that certain states have like uh, you know, you can't look at a moose while you're eating ice cream or whatever. It's the same type of deal. It's just an old um, antiquated idea that's not really of use anymore. In my opinion, you could find other people to disagree. What happens in Congress is written down every day. The book is called The Congressional Record, which, again, is not very clever, but at least tells you what's going to happen. All right. Um, the Senate has 100 members, two from each of the 50 states. 50 times two is 100. I do apologize for dropping math in on you. Uh, this is social days class. Our two senators are named Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth. Okay. One third of the senators are elected every two years and they serve for six years. Okay. That can be a little bit complicated. What that means is one third of the senators were elected in 2020 and they just started. So 33. And they serve until the 2026 election. In 2022, a different 33 senators will be up for re-election. And they will serve until the 2028 election. The remaining 34 will be up in 2024, and they'll serve until 2030. Okay? So if you become a senator, you get to serve for six years. But there are elections for senator in general every two years. They just rotate, if that makes sense. All right? And so... One term for senator is six years, but there are elections for senators every two, just not every senator is elected every two years, just a third of them. So they rotate. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to you. All right. So in 2022, 33 of the senators are going to be up for election, but the ones elected just in this past election in November and just, that just started Congress yesterday. They're not going to be up for re-election. They get their full six years, unless, unless of course, they did something wrong. Okay? Um, I'm guessing that's about as far as we're going to get today in class because we got to do the quiz and stuff. So I'll stop there. I'll try to come in tomorrow and let you know where we got and where we are, if not uh, on video on Google Classroom. So um, try to make sure you're checking. I mean, you have to anyway, but make sure you're definitely checking in and keeping up. Like I said, this this. PowerPoint is going to take days in class. I'm going to attach the whole thing for you today. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and just burn through it and get it all written down in your notebook, fine with me. Um, but if you just want to stay at the same level we're at, that's fine too. All right. Um, if you see later on slides that say amendment 11 through 15, those aren't regular notes. Those are, yeah, like see right here, those go on your amendment sheet. OK, later on, I will put the probably not today, but probably on a, a future day, I will post all 27 amendment uh, all together for you also just to make it easier if, in case you get behind on that. OK, there's no uh, attendance question today because your attendance is going to be taking that um, one through five amendment quiz. So make sure you do that. Make sure you wash your hands, stay safe, six feet apart and all that good stuff. Make sure you check in on all your classes, uh, math and science and all that other good stuff, not just social studies. Make sure you uh, keep up on your work. 
uh, uh, you know, report cards are going home today. Uh, it's a lot easier to get on top of things now and stay on top of things than to dig yourself a hole and try to get out of it uh, later on. So try to do uh, all your work uh, in a timely fashion. So uh, if I don't make a video tomorrow, have a great weekend. Even if I do make a video tomorrow, have a great weekend. Um, but you get what I'm saying. All right. Bye.